Hi guys, many of us are working from home and often that means we're sitting more, but unfortunately studies have shown that there is a link between too much sitting and heart disease. So today I'm gonna to explain how that happens and what to do to prevent it. Let's get into it. So the link between sitting and heart disease is actually quite simple. I was reading an article in The New Scientist that explained when we eat too much, particularly too many carbohydrates, that can create a buildup of a fatty acid known as triglycerides. If we do that often and over a long period of time, these triglycerides can accumulate and can create heart disease. But thankfully, there's a simple fix for this. When we exercise, and that even includes gentle exercise like walking, our muscle energy uses an enzyme called lipoprotein lipase. And scientists nickname this enzyme the triglyceride vacuum cleaner because it scoops up the triglycerides and uses them in their chemical reactions. So really it is that simple to counteract the effects of eating too many carbohydrates and the buildup of triglycerides in our bloodstream, all we need to do is move more but it gets more interesting than that. The New Scientist article I was reading covered a research group that were looking at the Hadza tribe. The Hadza tribe are hunter-gatherers in Africa that have little or no heart disease. Now, as you can imagine, as a hunter-gatherer tribe, they do lots of walking, they're out hunting, they're collecting food, they're helping around in the community. But interestingly, they actually rest for 10 hours a day, which is more than us Westerners. But there's one big difference. When they rest, they sit down in a deep squat. Now, even though that deep squat is comfortable for them because they do it their whole lives, there is a significantly more muscle activation in the deep squat than there is when we say you sit in our chairs and our muscles are completely passive. So even though this tribe are actually resting for 10 hours a day, the muscle activation is using that lipoprotein lipase, the triglyceride vacuum cleaner, scooping up the triglycerides. And this is one of the reasons why they think this Hadza tribe have almost non-existent levels of heart disease. So what can we learn from this in the Western world? Because I appreciate you're probably not gonna adopt the deep squat as your preferred resting position. Well, hopefully now you understand that as often as you can, you need to use your muscles. It's the muscle activation that's gonna get those triglyceride vacuum cleaners working. If you're working at a desk, an obvious and simple fix is to have a standing desk so you can stand up regularly. And this will be using your leg muscles and your core a little bit more than just passive sitting. If you're working from home, set yourself silly rules where you only have, say, for example, a tiny glass of water that you need to get up regularly to go and fill up. I have one patient who has her home office upstairs and she has a rule where she can only ever carry one thing upstairs. So if she has, for example, a sandwich and a cup of tea, she has to go up and downstairs twice, once with a cup of tea, once with the sandwich. I do actually often sit down in the deep squat if I'm say replying to text messages or quickly scrolling through social media. I try and use that time as a good multitasking where I'm doing a little bit of exercise, I'm stretching my hips, I'm activating my core, but getting some work done at the same time. You can be as silly as you like, but hopefully the lesson here is you really need to move often. I mean, this is a lesson I tell my patients anyway to help free up their joints, but now you know it's gonna be helping your heart too. And if you're helping your heart, potentially you're adding years to your life. So hopefully that's a fairly strong motivator for you to get up regularly, use those muscles, turn on those triglyceride vacuum cleaners and look after your heart in the process. Now, if you liked this little quick hitter, give it a little thumbs up below. And if you're new here, consider hitting subscribe. I like to make weekly videos to help you lead a healthier life. And until next time, have a healthy week.